Okay, I'm going to do some welding over here. So, I did some more work over here since last update. So, I got all my cutters, grinders over here. Uh, I got all my grinding bits over here for prepping the heads. I had to go find my motor mouse to use the spacers. To hold the heads at the angles I want to weld at. I've organized all of my tungstens and cups and stuff like that. And all of my welding rods. I got all my different welding rods up there. And the ones I'm going to use the most of them over here are the aluminums. So I just got things kind of organized. So cleared out a bunch of area up over here doing all that too. So pretty much ready to work. So I went over there and uh, checked these hole sizes, make sure they're 3 16 which is. The stripped out hole size. There's what a stock hole is before you strip it. And this is what they look like after they're stripped. So all these can be helicoiled so I don't have to weld any of them. So that a lot less work. I am going to fill the hole up in here and over here. And I'll probably touch up these fins too. I don't like all these cuts in the damn fins. The mix and stuff like that. So I'll clean them up. And I gotta do the nipple over here. The lip has been broken off, so I gotta do that also. So other than that, this is a pretty nice head. And I got a little fin to do there too. So combustion chamber is pretty good. Very light cracks here, nothing special. And then the guide holes are all good. So everything else is pretty well good on it. Like the exhaust spigot here, I can just work off of this, or I just grind this stuff and start over. I want to be able to weld up on the outside here, so I'll probably just grind the whole thing off and just start over and just come straight up. You got to come up about an inch and um, it's an inch tall off this surface here is the height you want. So I'll probably come up like an inch and an eighth or something above the surface. So to measure that, you better get something to measure with. So I'm going to grab my scale. There you go. Put that in your pocket so you don't lose it. So that way I can measure what I got. So pretty straightforward. All right, so I'm gonna practice on this head here and then I got these knuckle case to do after that. So I'll see how much I get done tonight. It's already nine o'clock, so it's already getting late. Spent a week getting the welding shop area all set up over here. So I'm thinking, looking for parts and pieces, it just takes time. And interruptions, so there you go. Is what it is. All right, first thing we need is an air light. An air nozzle to blow with, just in case. Okay, so this one we're going to drag from across the room. Make sure I have the length to do what I want. All right. Let's see, I gotta do some hogging. One of those. This will cut the holes in the bottom to open up the ones on the side over there. Should be good to go. Get some oil in here. So it's been a long time since I've used these grinders, so whatever. Put a little lube in them. Three or five drops, whatever goes in there. I'm not too picky about how much goes in. Whatever you put in, it blows through anyway, so it doesn't really matter. First thing I do is cut the exhaust area off here.
grind off the area that's bad, so you got something well too. It makes it a lot easier. Tip dip is that somewhere. I thought I saw some of Dad's tip dip somewhere. Uh, where did I see it? Somewhere. Of course. Yeah. Tip dip. Nozzle dip for your MIG wielder. I can't find mine, so I'll use Dad's. Oh, this one's blue. Mine was red. So, the bit gets all plugged up. You put the dip. Get a nice layer on there. Go back to grinding. Clean it out. Looks like it's cleaned out very well. It's trying to, but not very well. Alright, this one we're going to have to build up from scratch. So you V out to the bottom of the hole, get all the corrosion out so you got something to weld to. So weld that hole up solid, it'll probably melt this whole front edge away. And then this one here, I just cut the fin away so I can go right start at the bottom. Of course I nicked it right there, so I have to tack that now. And uh, I'll probably weld it from this side here to clean that up too, because I don't like that sticking out like that. Uh, yeah, so we'll leave that hole there. I'll mark with that. Okay, this here is fine the way it is. And these other little nicks I'll hit later. Alright. These motor mounts come in real handy, Sportster motor mounts for laying your head on. So first thing I get this head warmed up. We'll do the welding on the exhaust side to get it nice and hot. And then we'll come back and do the smaller stuff later. So Drop the head up so it's vertical. When you weld, you just go straight up and you don't get offset. It's easier to keep track of what you're doing. So, try to block it in the best I can. There we go. Alright, so for ground purposes, I got Dad's ground cable down there. And then I got my ground cable over here. So here's my TIG torch. Speedway motors, speedway air, not speedway motors, but speedway rolling torch. They're the best torches they have out there. I just replaced this one because it's all plugged up. 
I found out I didn't have to replace it because I could have just cleaned it like I wound up doing anyway. So they hold up really, really well. I got that old one I threw up here somewhere, I think. Wrap up over here. Yeah, I, know what I did when I threw it over there somewhere. Anyway, you can, uh, I've been burning that other one up for years. It likes heat. Okay, so I got my welding gloves here. Here's my foot controller here. Here's my welding ground wire cable here. So, let's see, I get this out of the way. I need to get this all over where we're going to weld to. So, this is our foot controller. I want this to be over here when we get to it. I like having access to the whole table here, so I'm going to pull off another loop. Lay it all on the ground out here like this. Get the wrinkles and stuff out of it. Which is the wrong side of it. So the airline. You only got one hand, you gotta work around more stuff, see? Alright, there's my foot controller. Alright, so I got access to go wherever I need to, over here, over there, wherever I need to be. Access a little bit over there. Tranny tunnel out of the way. Okay, there's my welding torch. Get the wrinkles out like that. Just gonna get this nice holding fixture right here. I can use there you like that. Okay, so now we got our ground over here. So what I did was I put a bolt right here to the workbench so all I need to do is run this down here like this like that and we're grounded so once that burns in there we should be fine still got access to my switch okay that looks pretty only problem with that is we got a sharp edge right here because it's not made to be that way see how this one's cut away I don't like how that one, I don't like how this side's real sharp like this, so if you don't like it, you know what you do? You make it rounded. I got a rounding tool right here. Do not hit that knob, it'll break it. All right. There you go. So now that won't dig in just like that. Looks pretty good. I can fine tune that a little bit more. For now, it's fine tuned good enough. Precision adjustment. You like that? All right. So we're on aluminum. Uh, where's our amperage at? Two twenty-five. That should be a a little bit higher, at least 230-ish. And uh, let's see, where is my... my AC, which we want to be on. There we are, continuous aluminum. And there's another switch on I do. And all these other things, we left them like this because that's what worked before. And where's the post flow? That post flow has got real low. Okay. And over here on the back of the, the flow meter over there, it's about this far up. So I think it's about 15 or 18 pounds or liters or whatever the hell the number is. Not a ton. Okay, so now this welding ground here that's on the bench becomes our ground. And then obviously the table's grounded now too because we put the clamp down there. So this one here, I put a little hook right here to hold everything. 
So this here, we just take this out. And Dad, we put a vice grip on it years ago. So that we just clip onto the head over here. We don't have to do any damage to the, to the head. But we have good holding power. So what I need is a little bit more. Lift the cable in around like so. Make it where you don't burn the ground cable up would be nice. Adjust our diameter here. So the reason you want to ground the head is so that with that stud right there touches the workbench you don't have a big arc and screw up the end of the thread or you put a big roseberry right here where you got to come in and re-weld it to hide it so if it's all grounded it's grounded so once that cable gets used to going on that bolt right there then we'll have a good ground now to get a better ground is we unclamp this and actually put an eyelet on here and tighten the damn thing down which I might do because this is not the best way of doing it for now. That's just how it's made for now. But we can take that off. You can also go right down here, the main lug right here. It's right there. And come right off of that with another piece of cable. I'll just go right to my bench. And then that would be permanently attached to this. And you don't have to worry about all this ground clamp all over the place anymore. So I might do that too. Because more likely that's not going to ever move from where that spot is. At least not very much. So, anyway, we'll see. The ground, if it was all right the way it is, we'll probably just leave it. Okay, so all that's done there. So now it's just a matter of preheating the piss out of that with this. Now, somewhere, I need a rosebud tip. That I have not found yet. So I'm going to go look for that. I think I know where it might be. I think it's in all this crap over here still, but I don't know. There's some welding stuff up there, but I haven't found it up there yet. So I'm thinking maybe in, it might be in one of these boxes still under here that I haven't dug out yet, but we'll find out. I'll spend a few minutes here, see if I can find it. All right, we'll be back.